30 seconds of logos. Pay strict attention to what I say because I choose my words carefully and I never repeat myself. You will, asshole. You will. Even if only by virtue of the replaying of this dialogue or the many rewatchings of this movie, trust me. You will, asshole. You will. The where could most readily be described as a prison cell. Sure, but only to preserve a reveal for later on in the movie. The what is easy. Recently I planned and set in motion events to execute the perfect bank robbery. That's also the when. The f you said recently, man. That is not telling us the when of this story. Once again, common sense dies in the face of a bit of clever wordplay. Which leaves us only with the how. And therein, as the bard would tell us, lies the rub. Could we possibly forego further discussion about a bard's rub and explain all this fourth wall breakage instead? For the big heist, uh, park the van outside the cyclone on Coney Island because I enjoy a really long drive before doing a heist in Lower Manhattan. This is the third different Manhattan Trust bank sign we have seen in the opening three minutes and I think we get it, Spike. Ah, the real enemy, the stock market. I'm not being sarcastic. The stock market represents everything wrong with our country. The van arrives at the bank with only three people. We're missing Dalton in his reflective vest. How did he get here? Did he take the four, five, the two, three, or the J? I need to know. Why is it so dark in here? Every bank lobby I've been to in the last 20 years is brightly lit and full of sun inviting windows. Dark banks only exist in the movies. Be willing to twins for you when I get home. Is he talking about his damn balls? Do people usually get excited about the balls? I'm asking for a friend. Any desk set up where you have to be face to face with another person is only fun for buddy cop banter. Other than that, it's weird and uncomfortable when you are quietly trying to get your paperwork done. What about the, uh, the Madrigata thing, the check cashing thing? I thought I was in a doghouse. If Denzel's playing a cop or a military man in a movie, there's an 80% chance his character is battling some allegations about shady law enforcement behavior. Just picture them in their underwear. I saw that episode of Brady Bunch too. One thing this movie taught me is that there is no rhyme or reason to how the NYPD park their cars when responding to an emergency. Beaver Street in Hanover. This shit is around the corner from the Continental. These cops should be much more worried that John Wick is working again. Ian. Anyone else here smarter than me? Basic math says that there is. Keep it. The Wi-Fi capabilities of this product placement never factor into the story. Go ahead. Make my day. Being more concerned with movie references than you are about the sudden impact of a bullet to the head. The way this works, Mr. Frazier, is I deal with Mr. Grossman, so if you need anything, you can speak with him, okay? Detective Grossman is away on vacation. Whatever's going on in the chain of command that resulted in Darius having no idea who he was working with today. Well, for them, it's a tactical situation. Us being here means there's a mental side to it that they don't get. I have no idea what Detective Frazier is talking about. How can any situation involving people not have a mental side? Even the most physical of sports requires players to know what they are doing and why they are doing it. Pepsi, the soft drink you want on your side during a bank robbery. But also, what kind of self-respecting Pepsi machine stocks more Aquafina than Mountain Dew? I love these three lamps here, which are not turned on because the windows provide plenty of light and yet the lamps persist because lamps are the Hollywood prop director's best friend because they take up space without seeming out of place. Director said, give her an Apple cinema display monitor. This way we know she's an asshole lawyer. They had kind of genius plan for throwing us out of whack. Beating someone's ass is definitely effective at throwing them out of whack, but I wouldn't consider it genius. Everybody knows what an AK-47 is. Everybody. Anybody who's ever watched a decent action movie would. Steve-O would be excellent at cinema sins. You ever rob a bank before? All these interrogations occur without a lawyer present. At least one of these people would get a lawyer. That one time, that one time, that I one time. I stole a nickel from my grandmother's pocketbook once. I want to send the aggressive interrogation techniques, but I'm obligated instead to send the stealing from one's own grandmother. Holy f***ing hell, you are such a degenerate. There's a video system in the bank. We're working on getting a download from Manhattan Trust Central Security Office, but it'll take a while. Um, f why? That video should be either transferable via the cloud or transferable via download onto a thumb drive or DVD. The bank video system taking a while is some f so immediately I know that there's something in that box that you don't even want your closest aides to know about. She's so smug. I hope she gets her comeuppance by the end of this. I'm sure she will, right? What's inside that box, young lady, has belonged to me since before you were born. Age flexing. I prefer that nobody ever touch my safe deposit box. Weird how you are fine saying this openly in front of all these folks on the bench here. I guess they won't know what you mean, but you are so f goddamn secret of this entire movie except for right here where you just say your shit out loud in the open in front of God and anyone on these benches. And he's told us to put our heads down and then close our eyes. Sounds like Sunday school. What the f do you want? A favor. No sh 
Which kind? Adding corrupt politicians into the soup when it was sweet enough already. Damn it, that doesn't make sense. It's too late now, so the sin is sweet soup. You're a magnificent c Holy sh! where was this insult during my college years? Tech can serve my ass. Where's my turban? Seriously, why did they take his turban? And why haven't they given it back? Have they made any demands? They want a jet. Why the f are you telling the owner of the bank this information? Maybe this kind of loose lip sh is why you're still wearing the uniform, eh? That's a good way to get shot 27 times right there. I'm honestly not sure why the cops didn't shoot this sudden AK-47 bearing bad guy. They can move around and I don't have 50 transmitters. You have 50 f***ing telephones in this one trailer and this is goddamn New York City. How do you not have more transmitters? What's this? It's a digital recorder. You click it and it'll record for half an hour. Check off super secret spy pen. Well, you can get them on Amazon. Check off's discount spy pen. I wear hearing aids. Where are they? They're in my ears. Police work. Did they seriously only bring 48 bottles of water and 10 pizzas for 50 f***ing people? Here the movie finally throws us a bone as we see one of the robbers assume the identity of a hostage in real time and it's only one of the movie's many intelligent decisions. Now nothing we see can be trusted. I remember her. Why do you remember her? Great t Jesus. Movie cuts straight from a scene about a hostage's cleavage to this shot. And it's not an accident. The movie wants you thinking about cleavage. I mean point is to make you continue to think that any of the hostages could have been robbers, but also the thing about cleavage. You know what language they're speaking? Yeah, they're speaking Albanian. What am I doing here? Being introduced as a convenient source of information to move the story forward. Here's a great scene where the lead bank robber bonds with a hostage child who is playing a video game in a cash vault by offering him pizza. I think that previous sentence alone, which is true, is worth five cents. He's even using a stack of cash as a stool to sit on. You get points for doing dirt. Like Jack in the car. Or selling crack. Finish your slice, I'll take you back to your father. I gotta talk to him about this game. We don't see that conversation or the reaction of his father to receiving parenting advice from a bank robber. There's a tape of him discussing how Albanian people are great people. This is a genius move by the bank robbers and it buys them tons of time. I'm shocked these detectives fell for it. So the sin is for the stupid detectives falling for it. Last time I had my Johnson pull that good, it cost me five bucks. Five bucks. Unless Darius thinks Keith bartered five adult male deer for the service, why are we stopping to field questions about this in the middle of a hostage situation? This movie will put you off safe deposit boxes and quick. There are matters at stake here that are a little bit above your pay grade. <laughs> you might as well have told him we are up to some shady sh because I'm not sure there is anything about an active hostage situation at a bank that is above the pay grade of the lead detective. More like taking a shower with two guys named Jamal and Jesus, if you know what I mean. It's funny because it's about the cross-section of race and gay prison sex in the shower. Yeah, I don't need your f***ing status report, Sir Pagal. I don't need your f***ing movie reference, Danny Ocean. Why would a stop sign ever be this f***ing high up in the air and this f***ing close to a building? What the f***? Well, it's simple. You give me more time, you get what you want. You got nothing to lose. Other than all the special forces and tanks and SWAT guys that will arrive over the extra time, this bank robber I'm definitely not rooting for should hang the f*** up. I got a question for you. You get it right, I'll give you more time. If a hostage taker ever offers to play a game with you, assume you've already lost. U.S. money isn't printed on paper at all. It's cotton. And linen. 25% to be exact. And what's linen, you ask? No one knows. We may never know. Tell them they both weigh the same. Tell them they both weigh the same. Do it now. And then he does it. Because apparently that guy's advice needs no proving or testing. And if that's the case, why isn't he in charge of this unit? It could be Al-Qaeda. <laughs> this is probably an accurate reflection of common American ignorance, but I'm still sitting this guy thinking Al-Qaeda might come to America and organize the heist of a single high-profile bank in Manhattan. Well, that's a good-looking sh**. The first words I said upon viewing my second apartment somehow make it into the script. Jelly H. Christ. You're not going to tell me how you're planning to get out of here, are you? I'm going to walk right out the front door. There is zero reason for this conversation to be happening. He's already revealed he knows about the Nazi sh**. She's already revealed she's here to try and cover up the Nazi sh**. The only reason they're still talking is for him to have this I'm going to walk right out the front door comment. Otherwise, it's just five minutes of unimportant filler sh**. This check cashing thing, this, this coke bust, I can face that on my own. I really don't feel like this check cashing coke bust thing adds anything to this movie or this character. He can just be stressed because it's a hard day and a hard job. I say Rikers Island in Spanish. La Isla de Rikers. Can we move on now? Your height, your age, and your, um, your cup size. So I violated section 34 double D. Stevie took my line, so now I have to come up with something else. Let's see. Hmm. Got it. 
Keith and Bill decide to go with the G-cup, B-cup tactic in this interrogation. It's not as effective as Brazier's dilemma, but it provides the same support. You gotta be crazy to go in there. Yeah, but more importantly, it has to be against police rules and regulations. If you wanna bully me, try harder. There's no reason for this bank robber guy to spend all this time talking to a detective he knows is trying to get a read on him. It's much more fun for the audience watching the movie, of course, because it's great back and forth, but it puts the mission unnecessarily at risk. He's doing the make you think I shot a person thing from the negotiator. Spike Lee's iconic double dolly shot being cool and iconic. I've told you, two buses, a plane. Right, right, and box seats behind home plate at Yankee Stadium. Come on, don't bullshit, bullshit. So the detective knows they don't really want the buses or plane, but why is he so convinced that this guy is going to tell him what they are truly after? Now we get these creative visualizations of the possible outcomes of storming the bank, which, by simply existing, pretty much guarantees that it won't go down like this and reduces all this speculation to a visually interesting waste of time. That's what's so nuts about it. Anybody in the painter's suit could be a perp. This guy went over Fraser's head and called the police captain to get Fraser taken off the case so the troops could move in on the bank, then spend several minutes outlining how impossible moving in on the bank is going to be. I'll try and watch what I say in the future. You never know who's listening. This infuriates me. First of all, it's only here to trigger Frazier to realize they might have been bugged earlier. Second of all, it doesn't even make sense. The guy should just say, I'll try and watch what I say in the future and not be such a racist prick. There's no one that heard his slurs that he didn't know was there. The you never know who's listening doesn't even belong here. They heard everything we said, they put a transmitter in it, they bugged us. No, no, no. I'm going in. We're not given any reason why Darius disregards this new information beyond that being what the story needs to get where it's going. Hey, guys! You need to see this. You better come take a look at this cliche, my old friend. I haven't seen you in a while. Cap, we got something else in the storage room. Holy sh! Back to back, you better come take a look at this cliches. That is a cinema synth first, people. Someone is going to have to pick those up. I hope they have good insurance because that light above the name time cardboard is about to catch those top pictures up there on fire. Didn't Coglin say we should move on? Let's go. Ignoring direct orders. When there's blood on the streets, buy property. Shouldn't the saying just be, buy property, period? When the war came along, the ring and everything else they owned was confiscated and they were shipped off. Wow, this movie was pretty awesome. Up until this exposition villain explains his plan for no reason seen in a goddamn private club's barbershop. Can I trust that you will keep what you learned? He starts to write her a check to stay quiet about the information he just willingly told her, which he didn't have to tell her. I choose my words carefully and I never repeat myself. The f he must have said two buses and a plane at least three different times in this movie. And you 100% already said, I choose my words carefully and I never repeat myself at the beginning of the movie. The only reason this hiding spot is not discovered is that no one wanted a refurbished Dell. Imagine if these were gateways. Anyone else out there remember gateway computers? Wait, Acer brought the brand back? Well, I'll be damned. He's gonna smell like sh What do you expect after a week? Thank you for this forced answer to how long he's been in the wall. Yeah, why do you think I rolled down the window? To reveal that you were part of the crew the entire time. They caught Fraser and his partner walking to the bank. One of the odds they would show up on the same day at the exact same time Dalton was leaving the bank. Are Dalton and Fraser quantum entangled or some shit? If this bank doesn't keep its public restroom so close to the storage room, this heist can never happen because he'd be immediately noticed as someone that doesn't belong in that area. Head bank robber doesn't have to bump into Frazier here and potentially give himself away, but he does it anyway because it wasn't enough for him to win. He had to reverse pickpocket something to let Frazier know that he'd been beat. I did it for the money. Narration. Respect is the ultimate currency. Citation needed. The further you run from your sins, the more exhausted you are when they catch up to you. That's a funny way to say no movie is without sin. I have spent my whole life serving humanity. After all that original Nazi sh** I did, I mean. You think they'll vouch for you after I find out the truth about this ring? I don't think so. Frazier certainly is a good detective to figure all this out, but the movie doesn't seem to realize that he might also be a bad detective for going to the perpetrator with this evidence before fully investigating what the evidence is or securing a warrant for his arrest. Easter eggs. Did you bring a big will? The twins. Oh good, we were all worried about getting closure regarding this d**ing balls. Well, we have ways of making you talk. First we ride the cycle. Like that, old man! Put your f***ing hands down! I mean, the f***ing keys, you f***ing What the f***? Go ahead! Make my day! It's always about you, isn't it? What's that? Pedal to the mill. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. So how old are you, Brian? Eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters? <laughs> Big boy. What's our fuel gauge reading? Please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. 
masquerade and put out a citywide description for David f***ing Copperfield in. Well, he wasn't like today's magicians who are only interested in television ratings. He was an artist. I'm sorry, sir, but that's not the point. Please, arrive at the point. I'm not quite sure I like your tone. What the hell's my tone got to do with it? 